I want to show you purchase orders in Dynamics 365 for financials. This functionality was released in September of 2016. So to start, I'll go to my home page. And in the ribbon at the top, I've got an icon for purchase order. I'll click on that. It brings up a new form. I'll look up a vendor. And then I can specify the items I want to purchase from this vendor. These are my inventory items, and I'll select this item here and the quantity I wish to purchase from this vendor. And that's all I need to do. I specified the vendor and the items I'm going to purchase from the vendor, and that's my purchase order. I could print it out if I wanted to or submit it for an approval workflow, but I'm just going to get out of that. And now I've got the purchase order created. It's in my system. It's available through this icon here. I've got purchase orders. You can see I've got three of them. Here's the one that we just created, so I'll open that up. And next what I want to do is I want to receive these line items, but I don't want to invoice them because I don't have the invoice in my hand. So I'm just going to receive those in and the quantity to invoice, I'm going to X out of that because I don't have the invoice. I'm not ready to put that in, but I am ready to receive it. So I'll specify the number received, then I'll post it. I'll just mark receive here. And now those items have been received off the purchase order. Let's go back to my home page. And then once I receive the invoice from the vendor, I can go back to that purchase order and invoice that purchase order line item. Let's go back to the purchase order here. I've already received in the 10, but I haven't invoiced yet. So I'll just put the quantity of invoice at 10. I'll leave that at 10. I'll specify the vendor's invoice number, put that in there. Then I'll post that. So here's my purchase order. I entered the purchase order, I received it, and I invoiced it. This is going to give you more control over your purchases in Dynamics 365 for financials. This is new functionality as of September 2016, so please try it out.